Grab a helmet because in this video, we are diving into two of Africa's most jaw-dropping, eyebrow-raising and heart-raising inventions. Forget about Tesla's sleek electronic cars or Formula 1's million dollar speed machines. You are talking about the raw, unfiltered genius of homemade vehicles straight from Congo and Nigeria. These aren't just cars. They are rolling testaments to innovation, determination, and let's be honest, a sprinkle of fearless madness. The first class taxi from Congo. Let's kick off with the first class taxi from Congo. Now, don't let the name fool you. This isn't some luxury sedan powering silently down the highway. No, this is a small, solar powered motor vehicle built from scraps. Although its creator would prefer we call it upcycled innovation. Imagine a car so compact that if you stare at it too hard, it might just get scared and roll off the road. It's not quite a car, not quite a motorcycle, more like a distant cousin, twice removed from both. Patched proudly on top is a solar panel, bravely soaking in the African sun to power these mini beasts. The tires? Let's just say they are so small that when the car gets dirty, the car looks like it wants to tuck them in and hide. Like a shy toddler at a family gathering. At least the owner painted it black, a classic color for sophistication. Because, let's face it, it needed every bit of help to boost its confidence. It's electric, yes. It's affordable, absolutely. It seats four people, but only if you want it to move. Otherwise, you might find yourself carrying the car instead of the other way around. Compared to a Tesla, this ride doesn't glide down the road, it politely tiptoes. Where a Tesla boasts autopilot, this Congo creation operates on you pilot, because if you don't push the right buttons and give it a gentle nudge, it stays put. But jokes aside, it's a symbol of creativity and sustainability, turning scraps into something that moves, even if it sometimes looks like it's thinking twice about it. The African Formula 1 from Nigeria. Now, let's shift gears, literally, to Nigeria's very own African Formula 1 car. If you thought Formula 1 cars were impressive with slick designs and turbo engines, wait until you meet these beasts. Crafted from metal rods and powered by a motorcycle engine, this ride is a cross between a go-kart and a skeleton on wheels. There's no body, just raw, exposed metal framing that looks like it's perpetually holding its breath. One slight misstep with the brakes or acceleration, and your foot might just get recruited as a honorary tire. The headlights? Forget fancy LEDs. This bad boy uses torchlights. Yes, flashlights strapped on for nighttime driving. Flexible, right? But it's not just about looks. It's a car with character. To start it, you have to hotwire the engine. In this engine, I got it from a bike. It's a bike engine. So either you are a mechanical genius or a very convincing car thief. Built in just nine months, the Nigerian creator didn't have sponsorship deals or billion dollar engineering teams. It's not that I cannot do it with, within two months or a month. It's because of financial capability. He had determination, donations, and a whole lot of guts. 
People so much believe in me, more than, I, more than I believe myself. You know, sometimes I used to get discouraged, but once I'm, I drive out, what I'm seeing from people gives me another motivation. The wheels, they were gifted by tricycle drivers who believed in the dream, proving that this car wasn't just built with metal rods. It was built with community spirit. Compared to a Formula One car, this invention doesn't tear down racetracks at 200 miles per hour. Instead, it humps along, cautiously calculating every move like it's afraid it might fall apart mid-dress. Where Formula One drivers wear helmets for speed, you wear a helmet here just in case the car decides to drive you. Both of these inventions, the first class taxi from Congo and the African Formula One from Nigeria, aren't just vehicles. They are symbols of innovation and resilience. They may not have the polish of Tesla or the speed of a Ferrari, but they have something even more valuable, heart and hustle. Because at the end of the day, these creations prove that invention doesn't wait for billion dollar labs or world class facilities. It happens wherever there's a dream, a problem to solve, and a whole lot of courage. So what do you think? Are these the humble beginnings of Africa's big automotive breakthrough? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit the like button, and subscribe for more wild inventions that prove the sky is the limit, or at least the road is. After all, today they are solar powered and torch lit. Who knows, tomorrow they may just fly.